1961 Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 67 Plus with full bands. According to NGC, starting this year and lasting through the early years of clad coinage, mintages rose dramatically in response to a growing shortage of coins. It ultimately turned out that there were enough coins to go around, but they were not being returned to circulation in a timely manner by coin-operated businesses. 1961 dimes were hoarded in bag quantities, though a certain percentage of these pieces were melted during periods when their bullion value greatly exceeded their numismatic value. Certified examples are plentiful through MS67, but examples having full torch or full bands details are in very short supply. This toned specimen was sold for $5,006.25 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 1983 Roosevelt Dime with Missing Mint Mark S graded as Proof 70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. In numismatics, the S Mint Mark indicates that a coin was struck at the San Francisco Mint. In the case of the 1983 No S Roosevelt Dime, the error occurred when a batch of dimes was minted without the Mint Mark, contrary to the normal production process. The absence of the S Mint Mark on the 1983 dimes was unintentional and resulted from an error in the minting process. This absolute numismatic pinnacle in highest achievable grade ended up selling for $10,560. Number 2. 1949 Roosevelt Dime in MS-68 condition with full bands. The obverse is painted in rich bands of colorful iridescence that intensify at the right border, showing a blend of teal, violet, and magenta hues. The reverse remains virtually brilliant, save for a slight dusting of olive patina visible under scrutiny. Perfectly executed and essentially untouched, the present piece simply cannot be improved upon. It was sold for $13,200. Number 1. 1942 Mercury Dime in PR69 condition. According to NGC, as with all Philadelphia Mint dimes from the war years, the 1942p issue typically falls short of the full band's designation. On the plus side, so many of this issue were coined and preserved in rolls that collectors should have no trouble finding a suitable specimen. For such a high mintage issue 1942 dimes are seemingly devoid of double dies with one notable exception. A dual hubbed overdate is among the most obvious such varieties in numismatics, and this merits a separate entry of its own following this one. This highly elusive specimen ended up selling for $98,437.50 with buyer's fee. So that wraps up today's episode. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Don't forget to smash thumbs up. Take care.